हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेयर कम्स द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स दिस इज़ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर गेट एंड आई ई एस बट बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट जस्ट गो थ्रू द प्रीवियस लेसन देन ओनली यू वुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लॉ वेरी वेरी ईजिली इन दिस फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स आई विल बी कवरिंग डिफरेंट इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ बोथ फॉर साइकल एज वेल एज प्रोसेस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द डिफरेंट इक्वेशन फॉर रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस irreversible process the results of first law of thermodynamics like heat transfer is a path function internal energy is a property internal energy of an isolated system is always constant all these topics we are going to discuss in detail this is very very interesting lot many questions would be asked in gate as well as indian engineering service examination but before proceeding any further i would like to introduce myself my name is harshit agarwal graduated from nit nagpur in 2008 i have cleared the gate examination as well as indian engineering services examination you can always rate review recommend and share this particular lesson you can also follow me on the specified link so to start with what is the first law of thermodynamics see the first law of thermodynamics came for a cycle initially the first law came for a cycle not for a process if there is any thermodynamic cycle the net heat transfer for a closed system undergoing a cycle for a closed system undergoing a cycle net heat transfer is equal to net work transfer always keep in mind sabse pehle first law jo hai joule ne first law jo hai cycle ke liye kehta it he says that the net heat transfer is always equal to net work transfer that is sigma q is equal to sigma w the above equation the above equation is valid for a cycle it is valid for a cycle not for a process very very interesting it is valid for a cycle not for a process first law whenever anyone ask you if any question comes to you in the exam whether first law is valid for a reversible cycle irreversible cycle until and unless jab tak aap koi particular exact equation nahi dekhoge simple first law aapko pucha hai simply says that it is valid for reversible as well as irreversible cycle right first law of thermodynamics is applicable for a reversible as well as irreversible cycle i mean sigma q is equal to sigma w is valid for a reversible as well as irreversible cycle right now next there are some important results of first law of thermodynamics we see we have seen the first law of thermodynamics for a cycle from this we will deduce some important results the first one is very important that is heat transfer is a path function we will prove that we know that work transfer is a path function in the previous lessons i have cleared you that work transfer is a path function it is not a property work transfer is not a point function it is a path function similarly we will prove that heat transfer is a path function the second result is internal energy is a property this is also a very very important like pressure is a property temperature is a property similarly internal energy is a property heat transfer is not a property work transfer is not a property but internal energy is a property then internal energy of an isolated system is always constant we will see that and you must have heard the name like pmm1 perpetual motion machine of first kind pmm2 perpetual motion machine of second kind pmm3 perpetual motion machine of third kind so this we will also discuss in this particular lesson pmm1 which is a perpetual motion machine of first kind so here comes the very first result the very first result heat transfer is a path function we will discuss it see in this particular figure there are two reversible cycle one is 1a 2b 1 and the other one is 1a 2c 1 for a cycle we have seen that sigma q is equal to sigma w net heat transfer is equal to net work transfer for path ab for cycle 1a 2c 1 net heat transfer total heat transfer through process a total heat transfer through process b is equal to total work transfer through process a plus total work transfer through process b so sigma q is equal to sigma w net heat transfer from path 1a to b1 is equal to net work transfer from path 1a to c1 right similarly for path 1a to 1ac 1a to c1 right sigma q is equal to sigma w net heat transfer through process a net heat plus net heat transfer through process c is equal to net work transfer through process a plus net work transfer through process c so subtracting these dq 1a2 can and dq 1a2 will cancel out similarly dw 1a2 and dw 1a2 will cancel out so it comes out to be dq 2b1 minus dq 2c1 is equal to dw 2b1 minus dw 2c1 right 
नेट हीट ट्रांसफर डी क्यू टू बी वन माइनस डी क्यू टू सी वन इजिकल टू डी डब्ल्यू टू बी वन इज माइनस डी डब्ल्यू टू सी वन सिंस डी डब्ल्यू टू बी वन एंड डी डब्ल्यू टू सी वन टू बी वन एंड टू सी वन दीज टू पार्ट्स आर डिफरेंट ये दोनों पार्ट डिफरेंट हैं तो इन दोनों की वैल्यू सेम नहीं हो सकती बिकॉज वी नो दैट वर्ड ट्रांसफर इज अ पाथ फंक्शन मतलब अगर पाथ चेंज होगा इफ द पाथ विल चेंज द दीज वैल्यू विल बी चेंज सो डी डब्ल्यू टू बी वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू डी डब्ल्यू टू सी वन इफ दिस इज नॉट इक्वल दैट मीन्स डी डब्ल्यू माइनस डी डब्ल्यू टू बी वन माइनस डी डब्ल्यू टू सी वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इफ दिस टर्म इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सिमिलरली डी क्यू टू बी वन माइनस डी क्यू टू सी वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन हीट ट्रांसफर थ्रू पाथ बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू हीट ट्रांसफर थ्रू पाथ सी हैंस हीट ट्रांसफर इज ऑल्सो अ पाथ फंक्शन Again, go through this particular derivation. Here, taking sigma q is equal to sigma w for path A B for process for cycle A B. Here, taking sigma q is equal to sigma w for process A C. Subtracting it, we will get this particular equation. After that, we know that the word transfer is a word transfer is a path function. So we will d q d two b one minus d d w two b one minus d w two c one is not equal to zero. Similarly, heat transfer is a path function. So though the end point of path B and C, though the end point of path B and C are same, its end points are same, but paths are different. Hence, heat transfer is a path function. Next. some important terms for heat transfer and word transfer they are they are more or less same first is both are path functions keep in mind both heat and power work are path function these equations are very very important these terms these statements are very very important from objective point of view both are in exact differential see in dq and dw i have written d with bar dw with bar d with bar means it is in exact differential you cannot find the exact difference of dq and dw that is it is not right to it is not correct to write w2 minus w1 or q2 minus q1 because it is in exact differential right i have discussed this in exact differential in the previous lesson you can go through that both are not properties as i have told you and both are boundary phenomena that is they are energy in transient random collision of molecules cause heat transfer heat transfer is a disorganized form of energy random collision of molecules is heat transfer and random collision of bulk modulus that is word transfer and heat transfer word heat transfer is a disorganized form of energy and word transfer is a organized form of energy next result internal energy is a property i have told you there are important result first one is heat transfer is a path function second one is internal energy is a property we will prove that in the previous result for heat transfer is a path function we have seen this particular equation so taking dq minus dw on same path b is equal to dq minus dw on same path c c these two terms are equal i mean to say dq minus dw if we will talk of path b is equal to dq minus dw if we will talk of path c these are same that means there is some quantity there is some quantity which does not depend on path there is some quantity which does not depend on part it depends only on the end points that quantity dq minus dw is same for path b and c and hence dq minus dw is independent of part dq is dependent of path the heat transfer part dependent hai वर्ड ट्रांसफर भी पार्ट डिपेंडेंट है लेकिन डी क्यू माइनस डी डब्ल्यू अगर हम उन दोनों का डिफरेंस लेंगे इफ वी विल टेक द डिफरेंस देन दे आर नॉट दे आर नॉट पार्ट डिपेंडेंट इट डिपेंडेंट ओनली ऑन इट डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन एंड पॉइंट्स दो देयर पार्ट आर डिफरेंट बट देर इज इक्वलिटी साइन बिटवीन देन देर फॉर डी क्यू माइनस डी डब्ल्यू इज अ प्रॉपर्टी एंड दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज नोन एज एनर्जी वी विल कॉल इट एज एनर्जी अभी हम लोग उसको एनर्जी बोलेंगे वी विल सी हाउ दिस एनर्जी गॉड कन्वर्टेड इन टू इंटरनल एनर्जी दैट मीन्स डी क्यू माइनस डी डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू माइनस डी डब्ल्यू फॉर पाथ बी एंड सी इज इक्वल टू डी ई दैट इज डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू डी ई प्लस डी डब्ल्यू दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स फॉर अ क्लोज सिस्टम अंडर गोइंग एनी प्रोसेस दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन जस्ट कीप इन माइंड डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू डी ई प्लस डी डब्ल्यू दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन इज वैलिड फॉर एनी प्रोसेस दैट इज रिवर्सिबल एज वेल एज इर रिवर्सिबल दिस इज वैलिड फॉर एनी प्रोसेस एनी प्रोसेस एनी प्रोसेस 
if we will take d in place of dw if we will take pdv as i have already told you dw is equal to pdv is valid for a reversible process so note dq is equal to de plus pw it is the equation of first law for a closed system undergoing a reversible process this particular equation is valid for a reversible process jab tak aapke paas dq is equal to de plus dw wali equation hai वो दोनों के लिए वैलिड है रिवर्सिबल और इरिवर्सिबल के लिए बट द मोमेंट डी डब्ल्यू इज रिटर्न एस पी डी वी देन दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन इज वैलिड ओनली फॉर ए रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस डी डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू पी डी वी इज वैलिड फॉर ए रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस नेक्स्ट इंटरनल एनर्जी सी वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट डी ई नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट डी यू इंटरनल एनर्जी एनर्जी में इन एनर्जी देर आर थ्री टर्म्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड इंटरनल एनर्जी For a closed stationary system, changes in kinetic and potential energy are zero, so we can cancel out kinetic and potential energy. So d e is equal to d u. So d q is equal to d u plus d w. This is the final equation. So this is the first law of thermodynamic equation for a closed system undergoing. This equation is also valid for reversible as well as irreversible. When kinetic energy and potential energy are neg negligible for a closed system, generally kinetic energy and potential energy are negligible. So, we have e attached to u. Laga diya. This is the basic equation of first law of thermodynamics, which you have to use in solving the numerical. This equation is very very important. You have to use this particular equation in solving the numerical problems. Just go through this equation. It would be really 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 helpful to you. right so we have discussed two things first is heat transfer is a path function and second one is internal energy is a property next what is internal energy it is the energy associated with the molecules the energy which is associated with the molecules is called the internal energy internal energy is an extensive property as i have already explained you the what is extensive and intensive property in the previous lessons specific internal energy that is small u is equal to u by m it is an intensive property if i'll talk of only internal energy it is an extensive property if i'll talk of specific internal energy then it would be an intensive property third internal energy of an isolated system is always constant see we have discussed two result first is heat transfer is a path function second one is internal energy is a property third one is internal energy of an isolated system is always constant we know the first law of thermodynamics which is dq is equal to du plus dw for isolated system there is no energy interaction i mean there is no heat transfer and work transfer the value of dq is equal to 0 the value of dw is equal to 0 0 0 that means du is equal to 0 du we can write it see see du is a property so we can write it as u2 minus u1 u2 du jo hai property hai isliye hum usko u2 minus u1 likh sakte hain lekin dq aur dw jo hai wo property nahi hai They, these both are path function that means u2 is equal to u1 is equal to constant statement to remember therefore internal energy of an isolated system is always constant u2 is equal to u1 is equal to constant next pmm1 what is perpetual motion machine keep in mind always perpetual motion machine is impossible whether it is 1 2 or 3 perpetual perpetual means continuous motion machine of first kind is impossible that means there can be no machine which produces work continuously without absorbing some form of energy aisi koi bhi machine available nahi hai jo aapko continuously work output dete rahegi without consuming any heat there could be no machine which can produce work output that can give you work output without consuming any form of energy it is perpetual motion machine of first kind go through these important slides these are very very important pmm1 internal energy of an isolated system is always constant internal energy is a property heat transfer is a path function all these are the important results of first law of thermodynamics different different equation if you will see dq is equal to du plus dw it would be it, it is valid for reversible as well as irreversible dq is equal to du plus pdv it is valid only for a reversible process all these statements which are in colored form these are the direct objective question jitni bhi statement jo colored form mein you can find these statement in the previous years paper it would be really really helpful to you all thanks a lot from my side this is harshit agarwal if you have any queries you can ask those queries in the comment section thank you all